Salesforce is a cloud-based customer relationship management platform. The FME Salesforce Reader Writer enables you to create, read, update, and delete records from Salesforce objects. In this example, we'll create a workspace that uses the Salesforce Reader to download account information. Because Salesforce objects don't support geometry, we're going to merge the account feature type with a shapefile of a map of the world, and we'll form a spatial representation of how many accounts come from each country. When adding a Salesforce reader, we just enter our credentials in the parameters. The security token is required if Salesforce is being accessed outside of a trusted network. Then we'll choose the Accounts table. Each feature that passes through will be a record from the Accounts object. We only need the country names from these features, so we'll select just that user attribute in the Feature Type properties. Selecting only the attributes you need will reduce bandwidth requirements and processing time. Next, we'll add a shape reader. Each feature in this dataset is a polygon with an associated country name. This dataset is found online in a zip file. All we need to do is paste the URL. Go check out that demo after this to learn more about URL and zip data sources. Again, we'll limit the attributes we retrieve to just the country name. To merge them together, we'll use a feature merger. We'll join on the name attribute from the shapefile and the billing country attribute from the Salesforce object. But after reading the Salesforce data, before we merge it, we'll need to send it through a couple of transformers. The first is an attribute mapper. To save time, I'll paste one in that I previously configured. It makes sure the country names are all consistent. So if, for example, someone enters USA and someone else enters United States, they both represent the same value. Then we'll send the features through an aggregator and group by the billing country attribute. We'll save account attribute so that we know how many account records come from that country. So the feature merger will output all the merged features as well as the country features in the shapefile that had zero matching Salesforce records. For these incomplete ones, we'll manually add a count attribute with a value of zero. Lastly, let's make sure we keep only the attributes we care about. At the end, we'll attach an inspector so we can see the output right away. And let's go ahead and run it. Here's our output. You can see each country polygon has an associated name and count value. So there's an example of using the Salesforce Reader to retrieve data records. Let's have a quick look at the writer. The parameters are the same as on the reader. The Salesforce writer cannot define a new Salesforce object. It can only create, update, and delete records for an existing object. So the writer feature type must match an existing Salesforce object name, and the attributes must match the names of the object's fields. To ensure correctness, use import feature types. On each feature type, we can specify the writer mode. Insert, Update, Delete, Upsert, and Hard Delete. Upsert is the default mode. 
It updates the record if it already exists and inserts a new one if it doesn't yet exist. Determining the record's presence is based on the ID specified in this parameter. Note that a batch can be reported as successful even if some or all records in it have failed to be written. Likewise, even a failed batch may have successfully written a few records. Using the upsert writer mode prevents the creation of duplicate records in situations like this. And with that knowledge, you should be able to successfully use the Salesforce Reader and Writer in your data transformation tasks.